back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. It's been raining quite a lot for the past few days in Kolkata and the weather has been really dull and the streets have been waterlogged. A lot of rains, a lot of rains in the streets and the weather is really soggy and everything is very humid. Talking about weather, I'm enjoying my coffee. There it goes. Fresh coffee from the mountains of Kurk. And today uh, I have got uh, three digital wire weather stations with me. Uh, talking about which I don't remember the names because I have got a very short memory. So just going back to the old schools, I need to take out my chips. So here it is. I've got uh, three weather stations with me. This one I've been using for a long time, and that's the Bonzi hygrometer thermometer. This one I bought recently. It's the Aptek Dates uh, 6 501 weather station and this one is a very beautiful, small, sleek, uh, I export digital weather stations. So I'm going to review and uh, see how it goes. Uh, th this one, as I said, I've been using for a long time and uh, this one has uh, got a very like a unique quality is uh, if you leave it for some time, the screen goes dark on standby, but as soon as there is a noise, the light comes back so it's quite unique and it saves a lot of battery so I'm pretty happy with it I'm using this for over a year now now let's go back to the other stations and uh, review the products and see how it goes I've got the batteries ready with me and uh, the three weather stations are with me and uh, this one uh, I plan to use it for my DSLR camera to monitor the humidity in the camera case that I have and uh, this one, I like the look and feel of it, uh, almost looks like a cell phone. So uh, I'm planning to use it maybe in my car uh, in case it, it just fits in the mobile holder. And this one, I normally use it in my home. So now let's go back to the origin, like what is a weather station and uh, what are like how effective are uh, digital weather stations. Um, if you're a weather freak like me, and who likes to monitor weather patterns and you know wind patterns, oncoming cyclones? Uh, you will you will love this product. Uh, I'm a bit of uh, you know what should I say a bit crazy about weathers and oncoming monsoons and like changing weather patterns and it, it fascinates me kind of thing. So I like to monitor the weather weather with my uh, devices. These are I won't say these are very effective because uh, normally the weather station is quite expensive and. A complicated setup but this one uh, just gives you a sort of idea of uh, how the weather is and uh, nowadays most of the cell phones have weather stations as well so as I can see uh, my cell phone here it shows uh, weather temperature of uh, 25 degrees and uh, here it's uh, 27.9 so one or two degrees here and there it, it always goes so let's start with this one. So I'm going to take the back cover off and I have got uh, the bigger batteries. Uh, I think these are double A's and I've got the smaller ones. Let's see, uh, this one probably the bigger one fits. What is it? Okay, smaller one for both the batteries. There is a peel on the screen which I guess you need to take it off or you can leave it as it is. And now I can uh, go to the mode and set the time. Now the time is 2.27. Let's see how it works. And today's date is 19th June. Thank you. 
So very easy, as you can see, I set the date and time in less than like two minutes. So here it shows, I don't know if it's visible on the camera, the time has been set, 2.28, and uh, it shows 94% humidity, and temperature it shows 29.3. So look and feel very good. I really like the outlay and the display which is there. But the thing is, uh, this sort of uh, weather station, the display goes uh, for standby quite early. So you just have to press the snooze button and the light comes on. And it has a temperature trend bar as well. So you can watch and monitor the weather for the next few days. So, and this one, uh, as I said, uh, the modes and the functions are at the back of the panel. And you just have to press the mode and the different time and the hour and day pops up. So you just have to keep pressing and adjusting the date and time. It's quite easy. And uh, this one shows uh, humidity 95%. This one shows humidity 89%. Temperature 29.7 on this one and 28.1 on this one. So let's go to the last one. There you go. I got batteries for this one. So. Both of these use a AA battery, the smaller one, which we normally use for uh, TV remotes. Nice. And the display comes on. I believe uh, this one doesn't have any buttons, so it would be a touch screen one. Yes, so this one uh, comes with a clock, there is a clock, digital clock, you can see 231, it's there. Here you have humidity and then you have the temperature down below. This one, uh, station has a big display of time here, humidity here and the temperature here. And this small thing, very cute, very light, uh, it just shows the humidity and uh, temperature that's it so it shows humidity 81% and temperature is 28.9 now let's uh, let's compare so this one shows temperature 29.3 28.3 and this one 29 so let's give them a little bit of time to calibrate but it's almost similar humidity 81% 87% and 84% so there is slight variation in the three uh, weather stations that we have but overall I like really like this one uh, uncomplicated and very simple no buttons as soon as you put the battery in it automatically takes the temperature and shows you the humidity uh, illumination is a little less, illumination is a little less, apart from that uh, everything looks good, very nice fit and finish, light, compact, portable. And this one, uh, for all the weather freaks, uh, I don't know whether this uh, wedge is going to cause a problem, but this one uh, could be, if it fits in your car, mobile holder, you can have a very nice display of uh, weather, temperature and humidity in your car. And this one I've been using for a long time. Uh, the only drawback is uh, it's a little bulky and uh, it gets turned out very quickly. But as soon as there is a noise, it stays turned on. So really nice, nice display. Uh, I would recommend this one. Uh, just before buying this one, uh, you will see there is a huge price variation on Amazon. I bought this one for uh, three twenty nine and. Uh, this this can go up to rupees 2000 if you switch between different sellers on Amazon so just make sure you select the right uh, seller I'll put the link on the description so in case there is some weather freaks like me who like to monitor weather and humidity and you want to buy this you can buy this from the seller who is offering it at a very reasonable price 330 this one uh, Aptek uh, is 599 almost 600 and this one is uh, not available on Amazon as of now might be from different seller but uh, I bought it from Bonzi and it was uh, 699 last year I bought it around uh, the same time last year and this one is not available because when I went back to Amazon to check the product 
I chose uh, not available. So, very nice uh, with stations out here. Uh, I prefer all of them. This one is a little heavy, and this one for a car if it fits, and this one is for if you have a camera set up or I don't know if you have some electronics which you want to monitor the humidity during the monsoon season. This one is quite good, sleek, can go easily fit into small pockets and everything. So, really recommend this one. So, um, Aptek deals uh, 6, 6x501, 599. I export digital registration is 329. And Bonzi the thermometer, hydrometer is 699. So, all these devices will more or less give you an idea about uh, humidity, hygrometer, temperature, thermometer of, uh, of different uh, zones and devices. And uh, if you want to buy, I would uh, put the link as I said. And I would recommend all these three. And I'm happy with the purchase. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, you can comment and I'll be happy to answer them.